But protect him at all times. Don't just stop. You know what I'm saying? We can't help like that. Protect him at all times. We'll call timeout. After dark, here with Hollywood. Uh, this is this is a fighter fighting Sh Sharita, yep. right? And um, this is gonna be a great fight, I think, right? Yes, yeah, gonna be fighting really? tonight. Let's really? go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm originally from Springfield, and um, I'm fighting out of KCMO, um, fighting for Team Danger Fire out of the Garrison Community Center, and uh, we're here to make a statement. I've only been boxing for six years, um, so experience right now is the key for me. I feel like each fight, I'm, I'm getting new knowledge, and my coaches are are picking up on things that I need to work up on, work on, and uh, they just keep building me and building me as a as a fighter, as a professional women's fighter. So this is Rain with Black Vibes After Dark, sitting here with Chicken. Give me your full name. My name is mm -hmm. Sharetta. Chicken, the Triple D Fight Queen, uh -oh. Metcalf. What? Yeah. In the <laughs> building. I want to say, hey man, make sure y'all tune in. Make sure y'all come support me, cause I'm I'm doing this for my city. I'm doing this for my kids. I'm doing this for myself. And hey, you you gonna love everything about me. I got a story to tell. That's <laughs> it. Here we are, Black Vibes After Dark with Chicken. She ready? We ready? Let's get it. This is Black Vibes Magazine uh, After Dark coming to you with uh, John Logan Shipman, uh, first fight up tonight. Uh, so, John, just tell me a little bit about yourself and how you came into boxing. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm 31 years old. I started boxing when I was 13. I've been doing it my whole life. I haven't fought in eight years, though, professionally. And I'm just getting back into it, you know. Before I get too old, I can't box no more. I love it. You love it? I love so, it. I mean, what initially got you into boxing? Like, how, how did, just, how did um, that, that urge show up? I mean, I was in contemporary issues class. And one of my friends behind me asked me if I wanted to come up to a Camp Boxing. And I went in and I just had natural talent, they said, and I just kept going. I just kept, kept going, going, kept going, and kept going. Right. Waldo Zamudio from Pasadena, Texas. Coming in here to Dallas, try to get a win. Black Vibes uh, magazine after dark talking to Keandra Mallard, uh, Charles Hadley's right hand go to, yeah. you know. So tell me, I mean, tell me about this process of, of getting him prepared and getting him ready for yeah. fight night and, and, you know, and just what goes into it. Uh, it's just a mental game. You know, uh, it's, COVID has happened, so you know how that goes as far as getting back in the groove of things. And it's really just based on confidence, right? Uh, rebuilding that character. You have it already, but just kind of reigniting it. It's been a good process for him. He's kind of been just kind of in the zone, focusing, doing what he needs to do, and just making sure he's on. He's all good on the business side. So, hey, you know, already know how it goes. So right. I feel like I didn't, miss, I didn't miss anything in this camp. You know, I worked hard the whole camp, and I made sure I was prepared for this fight. That's what's up. Boxing not a game. Right. Boxing, um, it's a sport, but it's a fight, really. And um, it takes hard work and dedication. Ain't anybody can't be a boxer. That's why um, a lot of people try and don't go far. But um, just work hard at it if you want to do it. Whatever you want to do in life, just work hard. I just want to put on the best show that I can possibly put on in my career. You know, um, today is big. I'm here in my city again. A lot of people from my city coming out to watch me, and my thing is to stay focused through the whole fight and, and get the W at the end of the day. That's what's up. That's Black Vibes After Dark sitting with Charles the Future Hadley. He ready. We ready. Let's go.